Even all Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, I'm going to explain what Web VR is and why you need it on your Oculus Go. Welcome back. Now, if you want to know what Web VR is, Web VR is basically kind of a website that can become VR. So if you visit it with a VR headset in a web browser that supports it, you'd be able to hit that little sort of icon or if the website itself just straight up supports it, go straight into VR. And literally the web page comes alive, surrounds you in 360 and gives you kind of that full VR experience. Web VR is JavaScript based and it has APIs built in so you can use your VR controllers. In essence, people can create web based applications for VR so they don't have to publish them to a store or a marketplace, try and get them out there and charge money for them or go through that whole sort of sign off process. They can literally create a website, put their application on it and you go to it within your sort of headset and then you know it becomes a full VR experience. One of the companies that are big into web VR is Mozilla. And Mozilla, I recovered their web browser they released sort of as a, a beta way back when and it didn't have many features and to be fair it was quite rough overall but it's now had a lot of updates and now it's out fully in version 1. Let's check out Mozilla's dedicated web VR browser called Firefox Reality. Right, so as you can see, you get kind of your browser experience that you do get on the Oculus Go browser. I mean, it does contain most of the same features but this is dedicated and being pushed as you know, the web VR browser. I don't know if actually Firefox will agree with that, but you know, I'm gonna go with that. So as you can see, you get your browser experience, you get your address bar down here, you can use voice commands to search for things as well. So just like a normal web browser, you can visit any of those sort of sites. You got your home button, your refresh button, your back and forward button. Uh, one of the good things here as well is you've got this little resize button over here on the right, and you can sort of drag it and shrink it as big or as small. Well, pretty much as big as small as you want, sort of thing. Uh, you can make it normal size. What you can do, which is quite cool as well, is increase just the height. And honestly, look, it takes up the whole sort of space. Or, if you prefer, a really wide browser. You know, maybe, maybe you do. Maybe you do prefer it. Uh, but let's uh, return that back to normal, shall we? And we can just click OK. You can you can quickly use these buttons down here, just to kind of switch between sort of default sizes, if whatever you prefer click tick okay so that's quite cool in a way I, mean, I guess it'd be nice if they could kind of curve the screen maybe um i don't think there's any way of kind of moving the screen to any particular place you want it let's just double check no there's no way of kind of moving it to a particular space so like if you're lying down and you reset it no it just goes back to normal again so that's a shame but if it, they had that perfect so you can browse your internets while you're lying down would be perfect so uh, that's one bit of feedback for them. So what is WebVR and why is it special? Why am I harping on about it here? Well, one of the things is here, like I said before, you get games. So if you click this sound box in, it loads up a website. So webvr.soundboxing.co. So this is an actual website. You can do this on your phone. You can do this in Google Cardboard. Um, a lot of other headsets as well. This browser is only available on Viveport and Oculus Store and Daydream. Uh, so for standalone headsets that is, so not for the sort of wired PC ones or even Gear VR. But as you can see it's loading up here and this becomes a kind of rhythm based game. So there's a bonus one, so one that's not available on the store, you can't get it, you're going to get it this way. So I'm going to play one of these. So here we go, like most VR games or VR websites, if you click the little sort of glasses button in the bottom right hand corner, it turns you into VR mode, so web VR mode. So a lot of these sites work normally, a bit like watching a, a 360 video on YouTube. You can watch it just normally on your phone. If you hit the VR button, the goggles button, the cardboard button, it'll take it to this sort of view. Ooh. Let's turn that down a little bit, shall we? So I can hear what I'm talking. Um, and here we go. And um, this is super laggy at the moment because uh, I guess I'm recording. Oh, there you go, it's settling down a bit. And you've got your little punchy glove. And like a rhythm game. And I'm missing them all. It's kind of lagging a little bit because I think I'm because uh, I'm streaming at the same time. Oh, I'm recording. I'm recording the screen, so it's not a fair representation. Actually, it's settling down a bit now. But you can play this game that's not available on the Oculus Go Store, and that goes for a lot of other things as well. So you can sort of see we are in a full 360 VR environment from a website. How cool is that? Let's back out of that, shall we? 
I'm gonna get caught for like uh, I'm gonna get caught for copyright music here. You watch. And there's a few games here on the homepage. There's also a few extra sort of uh, websites here. So within uh, that's an app you already get on the Oculus Go. So you know, up to you if you want to play on one here or there. Um, and these panoramas, 360 panoramas, are quite good because they've got like a time feature in them. So as you kind of look at them and look around they kind of move forward in time. So if we kind of have a quick look at this one. One thing would be nice if we could select what background we use. At the moment we're stuck with this weird sort of fantasy sort of elfy sort of mushroom kingdom. But if we could upload our own 360 photos or something, uh, that'd be quite good. So here we go. Once again, you've got the three, you've got the normal sort of view here, but if you click the little button down there, you get the uh, VR view and it's just loading. So you can sort of see this one. Look. Still, it goes backwards if you look left, forwards if you look right. Back as you look left, forwards if you look right. <laughs> which, is, which is quite cool, I like that. But let's uh, hit the back button and go back to home. So as I say, there's some more that content there. If you want to look at some other VR sites, there is a site called vrsites.com. I wish you could just tie that in there. And that's got another 30 odd different sort of VR sites here. So you can sort of see which headsets they kind of work on. Gear VR will work if you go to this site, but this browser doesn't work on Gear VR. Um, and you can kind of see, so you've got all these other sites and all these other games and apps that are built into websites that you can go to. Um, one thing I would say Mozilla, I couldn't get uh, hubs to work. Which this is kind of Mozilla's kind of own thing. So it's hubs.mozilla.com. But um, it didn't work for me. I couldn't cho I choose all the different headset options, the different phone options. I could kind of use it in the sort of 2D space with the browser window. But I could, where I click choose the you know the VR option, the uh, the standalone headset option gives me a room code that I need to go to, but then obviously kicks me out of it because the room closes because I go to it. And the PC VR headset option did kind of work, but then it just went all black and wouldn't work sort of thing. So there's maybe a little tweaking that needs to be done there to make that work. I know they're hard working on sort of updates for this, so we should expect some updates coming through for it all. But as you can see, you know, table tennis, got a little nom nom game which is on the homepage, that's quite good. A VR roller coaster, you know, all these kind of things built into websites. Let's uh let's jump back to home and I guess you know, my kind of thoughts on the sort of browser and web VR in, in general. Imagine going to a car showroom website. So you went to the Ford website and it was just a normal website, but it had the little VR button on the bottom. You clicked on that and then it took you into the showroom. You know, you could interact with the cars, that sort of thing. You know, exit back out, go back to the normal website, you know, start browsing, whatever. You know, imagine like every website having its own VR version where you can have sort of interactive version of all the different content they provide. I mean, it's a fair bit of work, and I guess it doesn't really apply to everyone, but that's kind of quite cool. I was quite, quite excited. And, you know, even just browsing the web, I quite like browsing the web in VR, watching YouTube and Twitch, and browsing sort of all the news and stuff. I do enjoy it on the web VR. At the moment, this browser doesn't have tabbed windows. It does have a private mode, private browsing, but uh, that's about it. It's options. There's not really many. There's nothing really there other than uh, letting them know how it all works and what crashes you have. But if you want to try it out for yourself, i say the easiest way probably to do it is jump onto Firefox Reality, give it a go, check out these apps, go to vrsites.com and you know, check them all out. Let me know in the comments down below what sort of feedback you've got on WebVR, where you see it's going. And if, you know, if you're a developer and you're developing something that goes on WebVR, let me know. I'd like to have a look. So there we go, WebVR. I think it's definitely exciting and definitely a worthwhile addition to the Oculus Go. I mean, if you've got it, it kind of works hand in hand, it's perfect. And Mozilla have obviously brought out that browser simply to take advantage of standalone headsets like the Oculus Go. If you go on Reddit, they've posted and they're looking for feedback. They want your feedback on this sort of thing. What features do you want to see? What features do you want them added? You know, leave them down below in my comments if you want and I'll pass them on. Or head over to Reddit and I'll put a link down below as well where you can just leave comments on there as well for the developers themselves to see. And they are really active sort of thing. They really, really do want to make this one of the best, if not the best, web VR experiences. So hopefully you learned something new there. If you've not seen web VR before or didn't understand what it was. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. And I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables and hit that subscribe button. Also that notification bell so you're notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.